what if, not only what are the challenges, but how can you prevent him from just completely taking over the game? Yeah, our, our guys are going to have to do their best, and he's typically into the boundary, so he'll play over both, uh, both sides, left and right side. Uh, he's really got an unusual combination. He's extremely uh, physical, a big physical guy, but he's also really athletic, and um, it's tough to <coughs> tough to block and tough to give in on him, and if you do, you're not going to stay there long. He's, he's just uh, he's a rare talent. You know, I'm not saying he's Simmons uh, in the bowl game that year, but you know, there probably could be some comparisons. He's, he's a guy that's uh, just a really unusual combination of size, speed, strength, and agility. Uh, so that's yeah, going to be tough. And then, yeah, Randolph's on the other side, typically in the field. Sometimes they mix that up a little bit, but they're both having two guys like that in there and they've got a, a big uh, transfer guy playing those who's doing a good job too so uh, it's tough to run up in the middle against these guys it really is john sent me see your efforts to catch got the opportunity to eventually get the sole possession of the big 10 west title this weekend how much would it mean to be able to do that considering these types of things don't happen every day and the opportunity to potentially do it in front of your own crowd yeah i mean it's certainly a goal uh at the start of the season you want to be the big 10 west champs if you have that opportunity and we're on the other side to be the other but um yeah the bigger goal right now is just win you know winning games and one, one thing you, know, you try to explain to the players and i think they figured this out there, there's really no downside to winning and there's a lot of downside to losing so uh not that it's all about wanting to lose but that's what you line up and compete for so obviously it'd be great, great just to win. It's always great to win in Finnick and rarely, rarely is it easy. So it's going to find this thing's going to fall in line, I think. Hey, Kurt, LA Club rivals. Um, the defense didn't exactly struggle to start the season, but now they're once again among the top 10 in uh, college football. What have you seen from them? How they've continued to inc well, get better incrementally, but now those things are starting to add up and they're really among the best. Yeah, I've said that several people, I think, you know, we're clearly a better defense than we were six, eight weeks ago. But that, that's what you hope for with all of our guys. You hope they're all improving, whether they're experienced or not experienced. And probably the biggest difference, at least from my vantage point, is not non-experienced players have a chance to improve more dramatically. Uh, whereas a guy who's already pretty good, you know, it's not going to be quite as dramatic typically. It's kind of like games in the weight room sometimes. Uh, you know, younger guys gain more and more dramatically. but. Uh, yeah, I think it's just, you know, it's a residual. The guys have played well, they work hard and